Yo, what's going on guys? It is JT Judgment here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you are watching this video and welcome back guys to the channel for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Legend review guys and today we've got a pretty big review. We have the 88 rated French midfielder Patrick Vieira but before I get into it guys I've got to give a massive shout out say a massive thank you to the boy that was nice enough to let me use his account to do this review I just want to mention that guys so thank you mate if you are watching this video really do appreciate it also if any of you guys are looking to pick up some PlayStation Xbox codes or maybe some cheap PC games then definitely check out cdkeys.com I will leave a link to those guys in the description below this video if any of you guys are interested in checking them out all right guys so Patrick Vieira when it comes to stats guys he's got to be one of the best locking cards in the game he's just got a sea of green stats it is absolutely fantastic guys listen to these these are some of his best in-game stats 94 aggression as well as 91 on the composure 91 on the interceptions as well as 91 on the strength 85 ball control 88 standing tackle 86 short passing and 84 on the long passing guys so most of his stats are in the mid 80s some of them in the low 90s very very nice stats to have on a player that is for damn sure then you look at his card face stats guys and it just makes him look even better for a midfielder in this game 84 pace 82 dribbling 71 on the shooting 79 on the passing 85 on the defending and 71 on the physical guys all right guys so Patrick Vieira in FIFA 17 ultimate team what's he like is he worth the coins what are my opinions on him well let's get into it now Vieira turned out to be an absolute beast for me I mean you look look at his card it's exactly what you expect you know he looks to be one of the best midfielders in the game you go by his price you should be expecting a damn good player right because I mean he cost nearly two million coins or by the time you're watching this review guys he may be even more than two million coins so that is an astronomical amount of coins to spend on a single player especially a player that you're going to use in a midfield um, if you were going to be spending that much on an attacker then you would be getting more out of the player I think because you're going to feel him getting involved in the games more you're going to be scoring goals with them but no Patrick Vieri you're going to be using as a centre defensive midfielder a centre midfielder probably not anywhere further up than that guys because when you think of Vieira in this game you think of a very strong a very tall defensive beast you know and that's exactly what he proved to be for me guys he definitely was a very defensive player I mean when it comes to attacking he really didn't provide too much now when it comes to the strengths and weaknesses says guys uh, the weaknesses I'll go through first one of which was his shooting now this is something that I was hoping would be better than I was expecting it to be and unfortunately it was a lot worse than I was expecting it to be you know you know me being me guys I like taking long shots so it was inevitable that I was going to attempt long shots pretty regularly with this card he did manage to score me one goal but unfortunately it wasn't a long shot guys it was a goal that I think I got a little bit lucky to score to be perfectly honest the guy didn't defend very well and all I had to do was run through the team and slot it into the back of the net with none other than Patrick Vieira guys so goal scoring is definitely not high on the list of strengths uh, with this card is actually pretty low on the on the weaknesses side guys shooting really isn't the best thing with this card but he does definitely make up for it with plenty of other strengths which I'll get on to in just a second the other weaknesses guys that I didn't really like with this card is that his weak foot for me was very very inconsistent now he does have three star skills and three star weak foot so skillers you're probably going to want to think about this before buying in because if you like using skills on a regular basis then obviously Vieira can't do them and three star weak foot guys you know I, like I said I like taking long shots so regularly Vieira did shoot from a distance or just inside the box as well with his weak foot and he missed a lot of opportunities he scuffed a lot of shots for me guys and it's something that I really did pick up on so keep it in mind guys if you are thinking of buying him and the other thing I didn't really like guys is his dribbling and ball control now this was a bit of a surprise guys because on the card he's actually got a half decent dribbling stat of 82 you look at his in-game stats guys he does have 85 on the ball control and 83 on the dribbling but yet in game guys he felt honestly like he had about 70 dribbling on the card he was really slow to turn on the ball felt really slow and sluggish he was just one of those players that unfortunately has a good stat on the card but in game he just completely underperformed for me I don't know what I was doing wrong whether it was the game or me I don't know but his dribbling for me really wasn't the best guys now that I've got the weaknesses out of the way guys I'll go through the strengths one of which was his pace guys he's got 84 pace on the card is pretty much a very very good stat to have in any position he felt very quick on the ball he hit his top sprint speed pretty quick 
quickly and it definitely did come in handy guys having that extra pace in the defense because I did use Vieira mostly as a center defensive midfielder you know having that extra little bit of pace in midfield combined with the defensive stats that this card has it really did help this card perform well for me his positioning for me was fantastic as well guys it really did make me enjoy using this card that much more because he was always in the right place at the right time to intercept the ball you know to bully the uh, attackers that I did come up against off the ball really did help defensively uh, with this team got high defensive work rate which combined with all the defensive stats that he has it just makes him one hell of a defensive midfielder in this game that is for damn sure he's got 91 physical on the card and he's got 91 strength as well in game so you can expect him to be a very 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 strong player in game and he definitely didn't disappoint me in that area guys his passing for me was fine as well so when it comes down to it guys Patrick Vieri he's a very good player very very good player but the problem is he costs a hell of a lot of coins you know two million for a single player it's hard to say whether or not he's worth it it all depends on your budget guys if you can afford to put him in a decent team then go for it but if you're someone that this will take up all of your coins literally all of your coins then I think it's safe to say that I wouldn't recommend buying him guys I've got to give him a final score of 9.6 out of 10 I thought he was absolutely fantastic but is he worth two million coins it all depends on your budget guys it really does all depend on the sort of team that you can fix him in but that right there is going to wrap up my review on this legend review of Patrick Vieira let me know your opinions on this card if you have used him yourself down in the comment section down below smash the like button as well guys if you did enjoy subscribe today for more content to come soon and as always guys please take care and I will see you all next time ta guys